Okay, so I'm in the final stages of sanding now on the boat, and that's how we're looking. For now, basically, I've just gone up to 180 grit with a DA sander, um, and that should be fine for starting the, the staining process. So the only thing left to do is just to find a few of the little defects that are still in the wood. You can get little scratch marks and things like that from the sander that you might not necessarily be able to see. And once you get the stain on or the varnish on, they show up then. So I'm just going to show you a little tip of how to find those before you get too far down the staining and varnishing process. Okay, so the best way to find all these little defects that are still in the wood and marks and scratches and things like that, uh, believe it or not, is to turn the lights off and just use a torch and if you shine it and sort of look across the grain at the same time these little marks stand out quite well and you probably wouldn't be able to see them in direct light but you will do when the varnish goes on okay so I don't know if the camera is going to be able to pick this up properly but there's a little area just down on the bottom of the transom here where you can see some heavy scratch marks uh, from the previous grits with the sander uh, and then there's just a little section there that I need to revisit. Okay, so we're all sanded off. I think I've got all the marks out that I can get out. Checked everything over with the torch. And uh, we're ready to stain. This is the stain that I'm using. It's a spirit-based wood dye. Um, made by Morels. And the colour is Plum Mahogany. Um, I've done quite a lot of testing of different stains and things before getting to this stage and choosing this one so I'll probably make a separate video that just talks about that and all the different types that I tried uh, okay so we're ready to go this stain is really thin um, and you only want to apply a very small amount so just pretty much get almost everything back off the brush again and just apply it very thinly and it goes a long way as well just a small amount Right, I think the camera died a little bit uh, just before the end there, but this is after the first stage of staining. So what I'm going to do now is just give this a really light go over with a DA sander with a 240 grit disc on it. Uh, just take out some of these more patchy areas and just take them back. And then I'll do another stain coat over the top which I'll just buff in with a cloth and it'll be a really light sort of finish. Uh, as opposed to that first kind of heavy uh, initial coat. So we're all done on the stain, here's a couple of shots for you, just to see how it's come out. I know it looks really dark at the moment, but it should come up quite a bit lighter than this when I start applying the varnish over the top. And uh, when putting the stain on and it's still flashing off, you can see the, the real colour of the stain come through and it's a really nice colour actually, so I'm looking forward to getting some varnish on and seeing how it comes out. It's got a much more sort of reddy, purpley colour to it, uh, which you should see appear. All being well, because it looks a bit like a bat boat at the moment. So uh, got a nice even colour all throughout the wood.
So that's quite good, it gives you a nice uniform colour. But uh, the thing I like about these stains is that you still really keep the grain pattern. There is no sort of streakiness on the top of the finish afterwards. So I'm just going to leave that for a day and then um, put some varnish on tomorrow. We could probably varnish straight away now because this is actually all flashed off. Um, but it's getting a bit late in the day so I'm going to give that a miss for today and get on with varnishing tomorrow. So one thing you get with this spirit stain is you get these little areas that carry on flashing off just where you've got um, stain deeper in the grain. You get these little spots that reappear so after you've done the second coat just keep an eye on the on the surface and just walk back around it. Just go over that again with a cloth and just keep rubbing that over until they stop appearing basically because um, if you leave it to dry you won't be able to get rid of those spots they'll stay there um, and you'll see them afterwards so just walk around it for a bit and keep an eye on those. 